In this question, we have a pattern that's made from four identical rectangles. The sides of the rectangles are parallel to the axes. We're told that point A has coordinates 3, 4, point B has coordinates 11, 20, and point C is marked on the diagram. We need to work out the coordinates of point C. Let's think of a way that we can look at this diagram to make it a little bit clearer. This new diagram is identical to the original diagram, but we've labelled in some measurements. We've assumed that the horizontal side has a length of x, and the vertical side has a length of y, and since all four rectangles are identical, we can use this for each of the rectangles. We want to find the vertical length and the horizontal length. And so if b has coordinates 11, 20, we can see that the x coordinate of b would be 11, and the y coordinate of b would be 20. The same goes for point A, 3, 4. The x coordinate is 3, and the y coordinate is 4. Now to find the value of point C, let's start by finding the values of x and y. We can say that this vertical length here is equal to 20. And so let's see if we can create an expression with x and y based on this length. Now the vertical length of 20 would be equal to this length, plus the small length here, plus this length, plus this length. We know the length of each of these four parts, and so we can say that the vertical length would be equal to 4 plus y plus x plus x, which is equal to the height of 20. We can do the same thing on the horizontal side. We have the horizontal length, which equals 11. And so let's see if we can break this down into parts that we already know the length of. The only part that needs a little bit more thinking would be this length over here. We know that this length x is the length of the horizontal side, and this length y is the length of the vertical side of this rectangle. And so the length that I'm circling right now would be x take away y. And so the horizontal length, which has a total of 11, can be broken down into this part, plus this part, plus this part. We know the length of all three parts, and so we can find an expression by saying that 3 plus x plus x minus y are all equal to 11. Now we have two expressions that we can use in order to find the values of x and y, but let's simplify what we know already. We can start with the vertical length. 4 plus y plus x plus x is equal to 20. We know that x plus x is equal to 2x, and so 4 plus y plus 2x is equal to 20. Now we can move the 4 over to the other side by subtracting 4 on each side, and so we end up with 2x plus y is equal to 16. Finally, we can end up with an expression for 2x by moving the y to the right hand side, and for therefore saying that 2x is equal to 16 take away y. Let's see if we can do the same thing for the horizontal length. We have 3 plus x plus x minus y is equal to 11. Just as before, x plus x is equal to 2x, and so 3 plus 2x take away y is equal to 11. We can move the 3 to the right hand side by subtracting 3 from each side, and we end up with 2x take away y is equal to 8. And finally, to get an expression for 2x, we can move the y over to the right hand side, and we end up with 2x is equal to 8 plus y. Now you can see here that we have two sets of simultaneous equations. We have 2x is equal to 16 take away y, and 2x is equal to 8 plus y. In order to find the value of x and the value of y, we can set these up as equal to one another. And so 16 take away y would be equal to 8 plus y, because 2x is equal to 2x. And so we've written that over here. We can use this in order to find the value of y. And so up here, we've moved the minus y to the right hand side, and we've moved the 8 to the left hand side. And so we end up with 16 take away 8 is equal to y plus y, therefore 8 is equal to 2y. To find the value of y, we can divide both sides by 2, and we end up with y is equal to 4. Well now that we know the value of y, we can substitute the value of y in to either of these equations in order to find the value of x. Let's use 2x equals 8 plus y. Since 2x is equal to 8 plus y, and y is equal to 4, we can say that 2x is equal to 8 plus 4, which is equal to 12. We now know that 2x equals 12, and so we can divide both sides by 2 in order to find the value of x, which leaves us with x is equal to 6. But now remember that we want to find the coordinates of point C, which is labelled here on our diagram. Let's think about how we might find the coordinates of C. 
we know the coordinates of point A, which is 3, 4. And to get from A to C, we move X spaces to the right and Y spaces up. Now we know that the value of x is equal to 6, and the value of y is equal to 4. And so to find point c, we can use the coordinates of a. To move x to the right, we can add x to the x-coordinate of 3. And to move y up, we can add y to the y-coordinates of 4. And so you can see that the coordinates of point c would have an x-coordinate of 3 plus x, and a y-coordinate of 4 plus y. 3 plus x is equal to 3 plus 6, which is equal to 9, and 4 plus y is 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8. And so we've found that the coordinates of point C are 9, 8. Now this question is worth 5 marks. We get the first mark for finding an expression for the height by saying that 2x is equal to 16 take away y. We get the second mark for doing the same thing for the width, and for saying that 2x is equal to 8 plus y. We get the third mark for finding that y is equal to 4, and x is equal to 6. We get the fourth mark for finding that the x coordinate of point C is equal to 9, and we get the fifth and final mark for finding that the y coordinate of point C is equal to 8, allowing us to achieve the full 5 marks needed in this question.